Next up, a husband and wife team, Carly and Oma Osner. Are you ready? Yes. We're going to be here. Yeah. The couple know that life as entrepreneurs can be packed with ups and downs. One day you wake up and you feel great because the business is going so well. <laughs> and then the other day something happens and you feel like everything is going to be bad. And that's really difficult to manage, this constant roller coaster. From big dippers to big hitters. Is that a shower head there? It does look like a shower head, doesn't it? I have no idea. Bagging a dragon could put this pair's business on an upward curve. If I had to choose one, this would be Stephen, because he's had a track record of building and growing digitally native brands. So can Carly and Oma's products cause a splash in the den? Hello, dragons. My name is Carly and I'm the founder of Hello Clean. We create shower care essentials for hard water. Hi, I'm Omar. I'm the co-founder. We are here today to ask for 100,000 in return for 2% of our company. Over 60% of the UK struggles with hard water, which causes dryness to the skin. Hard water also weakens the hair. This happened to me. I struggled with hair loss and dry, sensitive skin. I tried changing my beauty products. I took supplements, but nothing seemed to work. And I knew I wasn't alone. And this is why I started Hello Clean, the one-stop shop that addresses all of your hard water struggles. Our first product, the shower filter, reduces unwanted impurities in your water. The clarifying scalp soak, targets congested scalps and weighed down hair. The nourishing micronutrient wash relieves any tight feeling skin after each shower. 90% of revenue comes direct on our website. We sold more than 50,000 products and we had a turnover of 1 million pounds to date. The products are all in the boxes. Please have a look and let us know if you have any questions. A shower filter and accompanying range of hair and skin care products designed to combat the effects of water with high mineral content is the offering from Carly and Oma Osner. This is a very cool looking thing. The pair are asking for £100,000 in return for a 2% share in their business. But while they might keep you clean, Deborah Meaden is keen to establish if Carly and Oma's products are also green. Hi, I'm Deborah. So, in terms of the um, the ingredients, um, what are the nasties in there? Um, so, our formulations do not contain sulfates, silicones, fragrance, EDTA, mineral, etc. Parabens? Parabens, no. We are certified vegan with a, a vegan label. The bottle is made from 100% post-consumer recycled plastic. So, can I ask about this one? How long will that last if I actually put... I presume I've got to put that in line, obviously, on the incoming pipe. Um, and how long will that last? Um, on average, between three to six months. OK. And can I ask how easy it is to install? All you need is just two minutes. What you would do is pop off the shower hose, attach this one, and then attach the bottom bit, and that's it. Right. OK. What you have is a great product, by the way, beautifully put together, beautifully packaged. I really love it. I really do. So, how many of these have you sold? Uh, in total, we sold uh, about 20,000. 20,000 of them? Yeah. Wow. Carly and Oma are awash with praise as their body and planet-friendly products impress the dragons. Now, Sarah Davies wants to get a more complete picture of the pair's finances. Guys, you said you did a million in sales since you launched. So, will you break that down by year for me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, in our first full year, 2020, we did 250,000. We had a net loss of 40,000 pounds. 
In our second year, we did 570,000 and a net loss of uh, 65,000 pounds. Yep. And this year, we are on track to reach 1 million pounds and we uh, want to achieve uh, a break even. OK, and going forward then, how do you arrive at profitability eventually? Have you got any stats or figures around how big you think this could be in the coming years? Yeah, sure. In terms of hard water issue, 60% uh, of UK population is affected and 85% of US population is affected by hard water. Do people know they're affected by hard water? Not always. That's why our product uh, needs education. It just needs the right amount of capital to grow the advertising span and to educate people uh, that their skin and hair issues might be caused by hard water. That's tremendously expensive to do that. Is this part of a wider funding round? Uh, yes, we are actually planning to raise more. How much are you planning on raising? Uh, One million. At this valuation? Uh, yes. Their planned marketing spend means Carly and Omer need to generate significant capital away from the den. But it's the protectability of the couple's products that's troubling Sarah Davies. So what is defensible from an intellectual property standpoint on any of the products? I mean, in beauty space, um, it's very difficult uh, to get an IP. Yes, I know. Uh, and reason is like, if they really want to copy it, uh, so just it can it. be reverse yep. engineered. So there's nothing there, there defensible. Are ways to do there's it. nothing defensible in these products here. There are Formulated other people birth. solving this problem in the same way. Uh, there are other players yes. in the market. Yeah. So I'm really struggling to understand what is unique about the business proposition. You have valued the company at five million. To me, for a valuation like that, you had to have a really, really unique, this is why we are the only people in the world that can ever do this. And Dragons, you need to get involved because we're going to make you millions because this is us. And I haven't had that from you. I think this business just right, needs the right partner and the right amount of investment to take the revenue to a lot higher level than what we have at the moment. And that's how we are valuing the company. So you need one of us to add the value to the business to take it to the next level. It doesn't sound like a great deal to me, guys. Obviously, it doesn't sound like a great deal to you either. No? That was your opportunity to convince me otherwise. And as you have not even tried to do that, I'm going to tell you straight up, there is not a chance I'll give you my money and I'm out. Thanks. Thank you. Carly and Omer have lost their first dragon as the hefty price tag they've attached to their business fails to wash. Will Peter Jones be any more willing to trade hard cash for softer water? Carly, Omar, um, I think you've, you, you've done a great job. The product's brilliant. I really like it. Um, I understand the journey that you're about to go on. You need to raise money. There's no question about that. And that will mean a dilution. So I'm, I'm just going to say to you, look, it is way too much of a step too far to even start to negotiate with you at the valuation. So I'm going to say that I'm out. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. I think this is going to be a difficult product to tell the story on because, as you say, people don't know what's causing their problem. And worse than that, they're being told by all of the other big guys out there that they've got the solution to their scalp problems. So, so this is a real learning piece. So I get why you're going to need more money. I think your valuation is loopy. But I intrinsically like it. And I really like you. I think you're really good. You present well. So I'm going to make an offer, and then it's entirely up to you what you want to do with that. Thank you. Um, I'm going to offer you all of the money, and I want 15% of the business. Thank you. 
an unexpected offer for Carly and Omer. But it comes at a price, over seven times the equity they originally offered. Will either of the two remaining dragons, including their number one target, be tempted to fight for the deal? I like you guys. You know, I think you're definitely um, going to touch for products. So I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money. That's £100,000, but I want 15%. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. OK. What is it you're looking for from a dragon? Aside from the money, what, what is it exactly you, you want? The two of us, we grew our business to what it is today, but we don't have the experience in scaling it. We feel like all of you have so unique um, experiences, and especially you in particular, have such a proven track record in scaling digitally native brands. And this, we feel like having the mentorship would really help us okay. to be able to grow. Well, I'm going to give it to you then. I actually know um, investors in the beauty space. And then on the storytelling side, there's no doubts we can do stuff there. So I'm going to make you an offer. Um, and I'm going to offer you all of the money for 10%, because I think that's fair. Thank, Thank you. you. Guys, take that offer. <laughs> Absolutely take that offer. Can we? It's very undragon like. Go, go ahead and Discuss. talk at the wall. <laughs> yes. Thank you. The entrepreneurs have three competing offers to consider, with Deborah Meaden and Tuka Suleiman looking for 15% equity. While Stephen Bartlett has undercut his fellow dragons, with a 10% bid. I do think he adds really a lot of uh, value onto the business. We can give 6%. I think so. You think so? I think so. Are Carly and Omer prepared to risk everything by attempting to negotiate a more favourable deal? Ah, uh, thank you so much for, for your offer, Stephen. As we are going to continue raising uh, more, the valuation can really uh, affect our future fundraising. Would you be open to uh, have a deal where we buy back the shares? We, we, we can offer you 3% equity plus another 3% if we pay back the investment in 12 months or 18 months. You know, it's never great taking money out of a direct-to-consumer business in their growth phase. What I will say is I'd be open to doing 7.5% and you can structure that how you want to. So X percent can be equity and the others can be advisory shares, which helps with your valuation precedence. And you are flexible with percentage of advisory share? Yes, I'm flexible with that. Then we have a deal. Amazing. Excellent. Thank Amazing. you. Well Thank much. you so much. You guys are so impressive, honestly. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck. Amidst a shower of plaudits, the duo depart the den with £100,000 and the backing of the dragon, who was their most wanted. I mean, we're, I can't even explain, but uh, we are so happy. I mean, we came here. Actually, for Stephen, and the fact that he's so enthusiastic in our business, it's it's a great confidence booster. Unbelievable, definitely. It's exciting times ahead. 